You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. We are still celebrating National Lutheran Schools Week. And thanks to one of our favorite Lutheran schools, Concordia University, <laughs> Wisconsin, for supporting The Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live Uncommon. So last week, we had the opportunity to visit in person with students from several schools in the St. Louis area who were so gracious and came and blessed us with sacred music for chapel here at the International Center. So we had the opportunity to sit down with some of those students and share Sharing those with you this week. Joining us today in studio, friends from St. Paul's Lutheran Church and School in De Pere, Missouri, we have Cantor Matthew Gerhard joining us. Welcome back, Cantor. Thank you so much. And you brought along some wonderful students. We have Miriam with us. Miriam, welcome. Hi. Miriam, what grade are you in? I'm in eighth grade. Well, welcome. Glad to have you here. We also have Reed with us in studio. Reed, welcome. Hi. And what grade are you in, Reed? Eighth grade, too. Eighth grade. So we have eighth graders. Very cool. Yes. So they can see the light at the end of the tunnel, spring semester, eighth grade. <laughs> Absolutely. Send them out into the world after this, right? That's right. <laughs> well, I would like to learn more about what you like about St. Paul's and, and what your experience at St. Paul's Lutheran School is like. Miriam, tell us, why did your family choose St. Paul's Lutheran School for you? I'm not quite sure, but I know <laughs> that they really enjoy the community and how it's all Christian-centered and how, you know, everyone kind of knows each other. Yeah, so you feel connected to, your family feels connected to others at St. Paul's. Mm -hmm. Great. Reed, how about you? Why did your family choose St. Paul's? Well, my mom and my uncles have been going to St. Paul's and St. Paul's Church since they were born, so they wanted me to go there too. Got a long family legacy yeah. then. Very cool. So what do you love about being a student at St. Paul's. Both of you are in eighth grade. So what are, what are your experiences? What do you love most? To start with Reed. I love that we're like th the big kids on campus <laughs> <laughs> because when we were littler, we looked up to other people and now people are looking up to us. What is that like for you to be, to be able to be a leader now as an eighth grader? We get, we get to be like faith family leaders, which <laughs> we have a one, one or two kids from each class are in a faith family and the eighth graders are the leaders and the teachers are just like the chaperones. Yeah, so it's you, really cool. That is really cool. Miriam, what about you? What do you love about being a student at St. Paul's? I like how you get to stay in the same class because all of all the people in our class, we've been together since like first grade. Wow. And so at this point, since in eighth grade, it feels like family. Mm-hmm because you just get that closer connection to them because you've been together for so long. Yeah. What is it like for you being an eighth grader now, like Reed was saying, being being the, the big kids on campus? It's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You have to set a good example for the little kids mm -hmm. because eventually they'll be in eighth grade and mm -hmm. then they have to set the example. So. What is the, th the highlight of your day? What's your favorite part of your day at St. Paul's Lutheran School? Lunch. Lunch. Yes. Fit right in it's here. My people. All right. What do you what do you love <laughs> about love lunch? Well, I mean, sometimes I don't get breakfast, so you know <laughs> so you're lunch just... is <laughs> yeah. I'm hungry. We do have a fantastic lunch program though. Very high quality food, so I can I can agree with that statement Is also. that your favorite part of the day too, Cantor? <laughs> Maybe not my favorite, but it's really close. It's a That's highlight. Fair. That's yeah. fair. Reed, how about you? What's your favorite part of the day? Probably PE because we just oh. get to play games and work out with our friends. So there's some social interaction while yeah. getting some physical activity, mm -hmm. getting up, getting some exercise. Yeah. What was the last thing you did in PE that you remember? We played volleyball, I'm pretty sure. No, it was we played basketball and scooters. Oh, yeah. Basketball and scooters. Wait, okay, okay, hold on. You gotta explain that. How do you play basketball and scooters? Because that sounds really fun. So essentially, you just dribble it while you're standing on a scooter, and then you set up these like mats in the shape of a, you know, square, and you just have to throw the basketball into the things to get points. That is innovative. <laughs> All of, every time we talk to students, it makes me want to go back to school because this stuff is really cool. <laughs> so when do you get to learn about Jesus during your day at school? And You sang for chapel, Cantor had, was leading you in, uh, in beautiful music. When do you get to learn about Jesus during your day, Miriam? It's, the whole day is very Christian-centered, but mainly it's during religion or since me and Reed are in eighth grade, it's during confirmation. Mm-hmm. Or we also have chapels every Tuesday, 
and we have choir on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Reed, what about you? I would say it's either choir or religion, or sometimes history class, because our history teacher was our religion teacher last year. So, oh, Very cool. So you get to learn about Jesus, hear God's word yeah. all the time, it sounds mm-hmm. like, at St. Paul's. That's fantastic. And then it gets to be a part of much of what you do. Speaking of what you get to do at St. Paul's and, and hearing and learning God's word, Contour, you have a, a key role in that as well. Let's <laughs> talk about music education at St. Paul's, getting to be Contour for the congregation, for the school. What, what role does music play in education for the students at St. Paul's? Well, music is hugely important to us as part of the Lutheran tradition. We have a, a hymn of the month that we sing at, at services and we so memory work during the week. That's a big part of what we do. But music really connects us with the word and worship, and we do that in choir and music class in addition to the, the rest of the day. So it's, it's very important to us. It's an important part of what we support and do on a daily basis. What do you enjoy about not only being able to be a cantor for the church and, and leading the, the church in worship, but also being able to be involved with the kids during the week? Well, I love that the energy that the kids bring. <laughs> and one of the things that I've done recently, mostly this past year, is to combine the school choir, which is grades five through eight, with the adult choir. So they sing together on Sundays and develop these beautiful intergenerational relationships we're all singing the same music, we're learning the same things, we're singing the same text together, we're proclaiming the gospel together. And that's one of those really special connections between church and school that I think is pretty unique at St. Paul's and it's been really wonderful. That's really beautiful. Seeing kids get to, to have those relationships with adults in the uh, adult choir and, and, and vice versa, adults getting to learn about the kids in the day school as well. Absolutely. It's really great. And think about, man, the, the skills that you gain from, as a student, getting to sing with an adult choir too. Well, and music changes how brains work, and, and so we learn things in different ways, and it also teaches responsibility and citizenship and all of those <laughs> sorts of things that are important life lessons, and we get, to do those, we get to work on all of those together. What do you guys think about that, getting to sing with adult choir? Is it, is it intimidating sometimes? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, the thing is they do, you know, altos, tenors, and basses. We're all soprano, but then normally not the, inquir- the entire choir shows up for one service so it's more like miss a match yeah (laughs) (laughs) some of the adult choir and then some of the younger kids so basically you have a full choir each time nice Mm -hmm. Cantor when do you see children most engaged with God's word throughout their education at St. Paul's I think that they are engaged with God's word in all of all of the time our faculty are very good about that I personally see them most engaged in places like chapel or Sunday worship when we are when we are here when we are listening and responding and proclaiming God's word together through through music and and through the word and and through the sermon and all of those things together. That's where I see the tightest connections, although I would have to say it is all day that's as as the faculty we are that's important to us to can to make to keep Christ at the forefront. What do you enjoy most about teaching at St. Paul's? I love the energy that the students bring. It's for me my my favorite part of the day is is choir and seeing the energy that the students bring. We have a, a very large choir this year, which is a blessing, and there's so much energy all in one place. And it, and to be able to to learn and to sing these great texts and this great music together is really very special to me. Now, some might think that the the music that you bring might be a bit challenging for children because mm-hmm. y- you you bring some really excellent pieces that adult choirs might find challenging, and that you in, have children learning these. Do the children step up to the the occasion, and what are they? What has been the result bringing the the music that you bring for children to learn? Oh, students absolutely step up to the plate each and every time. I often say that music is one of the only areas in a student or a child's life where they can participate on the same level as the adults. I'm, it does take training, of course, right? Teaching, you have to teach adults in choir, but you also have to teach students. And so thankfully we have different rehearsal times so we, I can separate and do 
focus more on the things that need attention. You know, for instance, for students, it's a little voice production is a little bit easier than for adults. So we spend more time on learning music theory or, or reading notes, whereas for adults, we might have to spend more time on relaxing or things like that. <laughs> so there, there are different focuses, but the children are absolutely able to step up to the same level as the adults and, and learn whatever I stick in front of them. <laughs> what has been What's been the most challenging piece for you all to learn since you've been at St. Paul's? Oh, that's a great question. Oh, boy. We had a Messiah piece Ooh. in fifth grade called, oh my gosh, what was it called? He Shall Purify. Ooh, oh, wow. Love that piece. <laughs> that was it, but yeah. That's it had this challenging. really long chord that you had to hold and go into a bunch of different notes. It was challenging, but it was really fun in the end, and we all really wanted to do it again, but... We didn't. You're right. I'm, I may have to correct myself. I think it was four until a child is born. Yeah. You're thinking, oh, yeah. That's the one. Still challenging, but was, super fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what can, or I'm sorry, how can we learn more about St. Paul's Lutheran School in De Pere, Missouri? You can find the website at stplutheranschool.org or go to the St. Paul's, search for St. Paul's De Pere, D-E-S-P-E-R-E-S. On Google and it, w it will come up and uh, there are Facebook pages and all sorts of things that I'm not very familiar with but there's a lot out there for you to find. Very good. St. Paul's Lutheran Church and School in De Pere, Missouri. Our guests today, Reed and Miriam, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And Cantor Gerhardt, thank you so much for bringing these wonderful students to share with us this morning on here at Chapel and on KFUO. And thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. You've, you're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth.